allow me with humility to welcome Dr. Frank Nabuiso. Ladies and gentlemen, first I have to disappoint my colleague, Dr. Miriam Matembe, by declaring that I'm a young person as a result of the removal of age limit from the Constitution. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, the removal of age limit from the Constitution liberated me, so I'm young. And I would like to recognize my friend here, Major Matovu, David, with whom we were in Parliament. And you remember him? He was in Parliament. I will concentrate on a few things. First, I have come here to represent Busoga College, Mweri, <laughs> where Professor Kanyahamba was a student in 1956 to 58. He was in Wilson House, coincidentally, because his name is George Wilson Kanyahamba. I was in the same house. I was the leader of, of prayer meetings in the house. And uh, I'm confirming that right from that time, I saw something unique in him. And that is fearing God. Um, the Soga College, Mwiri's motto is for God and our country. It was transformed by Obote into for God and my country. Mwiris was our country. But you know that that motto has changed several times. It is now for God and my stomach or my family. I'm glad that I'm meeting young people like myself. <laughs> One of the young people who have inspired me is Norman Tumuhimbisa. Please stand up. <laughs> I have his book here. It is called Liars and Accomplices. It contains people who are experts in telling lies in this country. All those who have PhDs in telling lies. And uh, most of the names you have listed start with K A K A K A K A. But in Uganda, K A K A K A is something K A. So the book is here. I recommend this book. No, you are not there. <laughs> for today. I also know that you have written other books. And I want to say to you that it is possible for young people to write books. Please do so because you have a lot to share with us. I have also come with a book written by somebody else. This is uh, Honorable Kadaga. It says, The Pathway. The Pathway to Greatness. After reading it, I asked myself this question. Is it only politicians in this country whom we should regard as great people? Or it is possible, even for ordinary persons, peasants, 
to be considered great people. Who decides that so and so is great and this one is not? What criteria do you use? And when you have been declared a great person or declared yourself to be great, how do you sustain your greatness? Now, Kanyahamba, I'm trying to, to point out this because I'm trying to give you the inside story of Kanyahamba. He's not the one who declared himself a great Uganda. He only wrote. And after we have acknowledged him to be a great person, he has not disappointed us. Recently, a professor at uh, Chambogo University who was in charge of promoting special needs education decided to rape a girl at the age of 16. And moreover, he was found to be HIV positive. HIV positive professor of special education rapes a girl of 16 who is blind. The legacy of that person just dropped within no time. Young people who are here, including myself, we should ensure that our legacies remain in this country. Tumuyimbisa has, has asked me a question and let me answer it today. You are trying to find out to write a book asking ourselves how did we come to where we are now for a country you know, which is worshipped in the whole world because of the martyrs who were killed. For a country which God gave so much, which was declared by Sir Winston Churchill as early as 1907 as the power of Africa. How does that country come to where we are today? That is the question for you. Part of the answer to that question, it is in this book. We have been taken for a ride by liars and accomplices. The second one is uh, here, where we have seen somebody saying that she's great for this is her dedication to her parents, colleagues, friends, workmates, teachers, and the family. But Kamli voters are not mentioned here. And the Almighty is not mentioned. Because we can never, we are not in control of our own lives. It is him who does that. The second person who has answered your question is the Kainyahamba. In his books, he has told you in several books how Uganda has come to where it is now. And how do we get out of this predicament? Yes, we can cry to God. But the first point is, and my friend Major Matov here knows, we tried to change the name NRM to say not, you know, from National Resistance Movement to something else, like National Reconstruction Movement. 
Well, somebody said, no, 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 we must maintain. So the first point is for you to resist. Resist. Resist corruption, lies, and these people who pretend to be great persons. Resist them. I have personally resisted them. I don't accept. To me, a great person, the Bible explained that, explains that in Matthew chapter 18, verse 1. The disciples asked Jesus Christ, who will be great in heaven? How is the protocol they arranged? And he said, if you want to be great, hmm? first of all, behave like this small child. Yeah, humility is a starting point towards greatness. When we are, some of us have gone away and you are in charge of this country, maybe you'll build a house of fame. Not these fellows who are called heroes. On the 9th June, they, they are paraded, they usually go down in large numbers. Those are not Uganda's heroes. I believe you will build a house of fame and you will see that the most famous people in this country have been humble. The only part I can play in this game is to be volunteer number one. And continue to spread the kind of humbleism if there is that philosophy. Beyond Musoga College Mwiri and to other places. May God bless you. I will just sing one verse, allow me. There is a hymn I love, which we used to sing at Mwiri. Ni no mukwa no kwange ye yawe bwama nyigona ge gari tu sae uwe sitia balabe bange e pie guru bi renge de bi miang sanyonge feza kalenkole Fube nwane ye a dintendere sa. Nkole, fube nwane. It is him. Thank you very much. A warm hand clap than that uh, for Dr. Frank Nabueso. The young man. No age limits in this country. <laughs> Okay, the uh, removal of age limits has done, uh, has brought all kinds of stories um, and jokes in this country. And, and this may be one of the finest among them all. That, uh, you know, you don't have to consider your age uh, because we don't have age, no age limits in this country, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when he was uh, talking, I saw um, our, our newest guest on the, I mean, pull out a yellow book, you know what I'm saying? A yellow book, and he was making notes. And I was wondering, um, what is on his mind? Come and talk to us, uh, Major. Uh, which, come and talk to us about um, one being here, but also.